Hey, hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to forward AWS Linux EC2 instance logs to AWS CloudWatch log groups. As you see in this picture, this is just a pictorial ori of my demo, where I'm gonna show you like, you know, how does this flow explains in the first part. And in the second part, I'm gonna show you at the real time hands-on configurations, okay? And also we will see like, you know, how does the logs looks when the logs gets forwarded to AWS CloudWatch log groups, okay? Especially in this video, I'm taking an example, you know, AWS Linux Easter instance, that is Amazon Linux 2. Whereas the configurations, whatever I'm gonna show you, will holds good for your Amazon Linux 1 as well, all right? So, uh, you know, before I explain the flow of this demo, a kind request, please do subscribe my channel, that would really encourage me a lot. So with that note, let's directly jump to the first part, that is uh, explaining the flow, yeah? So here, you know, we will be hosting an Amazon, you know, EC2 instance. As I said, I will be using Amazon Linux EC2 instance. On top of that Amazon Linux EC2 instance, I will be installing the CloudWatch agent. By, by default, you know, all the Amazon Linux EC2 flavors, you know, will have default, you know, CloudWatch agent installed in the images. If not installed, you have to, you know, manually install the CloudWatch agent in them, yeah? So once the agent is been installed, so we also do a custom configurations on the, you know, CloudWatch configurations. CloudWatch agent configurations in a such a way that it will forward the logs to CloudWatch log groups. That's a custom log group where we can visualize the logs getting forwarded from Amazon EC2 instance to here. Okay. Once the logs are, you know, comes started starts to come in, you know, Amazon log groups. From there, you know, we can leverage those for, you know, doing the analytics, creating the alarms, or doing the any kind of reporting. Yeah. So those are the uses of these logs that you can, you know, leverage from the, you know, AWS CloudWatch log groups. Yeah, all right. So this is how the flow is. Now we go to the next part of the demo. That is, you know, uh, you know, how do we set these configurations at the real time? Okay. So for this case, I have created a dedicated help file, and I will be sharing this help file in the in my you know GitHub repo, and the GitHub repo link will be shared in my video's description. Please find this file from there. Yeah. So as I explained uh, in in the flow, so these are the you know stuff that we go we are going to you know uh, perform in this video. All right. And finally, I have also documented the steps that you need to, you know, you need to perform once the EC2 instance is up and running fine, yeah, so that you make the CloudWatch agent to forward the logs to CloudWatch, yeah, all right. So especially it, it, it contains nothing, okay, we will be installing, um, you know, AWS log package, then we will be doing the customization at AWS CLI.conf file, and also doing certain configurations in the AWS logs.conf file. And finally, we will be restarting the services and enabling the logging. Yeah, all right. So these are the configurations that we need to do to forward the logs from your Amazon, yeah, Linux EC2 instance to AWS CloudWatch. Yeah, all right. So the the, the last note, okay. So the last note is something you know which can help you to install CloudWatch agent if it is not coming by default from the EMIs. Yeah. All right, so this is all about this file. Now let me go to the real time, okay? So for this case or for this demo, I have already pre-created an example, you know, AWS EC2 instance, that is Amazon Linux version two, if I can select this one, yeah? So this is my AWS console, and in this console, I have created an example EC2 instance, yeah? So this is the EC2 instance of image, okay? If I can come down, so the of image. So this is Amazon Linux two, yeah? And also, you know, I have also done the prerequisite, okay? So whenever you want to have, you know, you want to make that, you know, the CloudWatch agent installed in our EC2 instance to work fine, you have to have a, you have to provide your EC2 instance with a certain IAM role. And that role, we call it as a instance profile role, okay? So this is the instance profile role I have attached to this EC2 instance. And the permissions I have given in this one, in this role is something like this, okay? So this is the, you know, IAM, page of my AWS account. So in that one, I'm in this my instance role, which is attached to the, uh, you know, instance role. Yeah. And it contains, I have given maximum permissions that is administrator access. And in the trust relationship, it is marked to EC2 instance service with action SDS assume role. Yeah. So this is what, you know, this is what this IAM role contains. Okay. Yeah. So and also one more thing is, you know, you should make sure that, you know, this EC2 instance have a public IP address. Okay. For example, if you don't have any custom you know, uh, a TCW attachment to your VPC, maybe, you know, uh, maybe then you, know, you need to make sure that, you know, your EC2 instance has a public IP address attached to it, okay? Because why I'm saying this, you know, in the sense, because this is needed for my next step I'm telling, okay? 
all right so for example you know if you are not using this one maybe you know you need to reevaluate whether you know whether it is really working in your scenario all right so with that hence let me go back to the you know the next steps okay so after this all this prerequisite i did you know click on the connect button okay so once i click on the connect button it will image you you know it will image you you know immediately shows us the options that you know we can leverage to connect to the you know uh, connect to our east instance okay so fine now okay so if i can refresh uh, yeah so because this the console has been waiting for since long time so that's the reason it is taking some time yeah so what did i do so i went to my east instance and and i know i just selected this one i click on the connect and you know once you see this button which goes in red which means that you know the ssm agent is working fine and uh, generally this is what the indication tells okay so in this demo i am using ssm you know session manager you know way of accessing the ecs instance to configure the regard, you know rest configurations whereas in your method you can use the ecs instance connect sss client or any other methods that you can connect to ecs instance all right okay so once you are here nothing but you know you have connected to our ecs instance with using ssm session okay now to check if you are what if you are really inside the ecs instance maybe you can just run a command called host name yeah so this is my host name yeah maybe next you can do pw pwd okay so currently we are in this you know pre uh, present working directory okay so now let's go to the our steps that we need to follow the first one is as i said you know we have to create a you know instance profile role which is i have already created and attach it to ecs instance okay henceforth we were able to use ssm session manager to connect to ecs instance yeah now we go to the next step the next step is to install the aws log packages okay so this log packages helps ssm agent to forward the logs to cloudwatch log groups okay henceforth we have to install it i have already pre installed in this system uh, previously when i was trying but let me redo it again maybe it will say that you know it, it's already exist okay here you go so you know whenever you know whenever it is already installed so maybe it will tell you like it will tell you that you know it's already exist but let's say if you are installing very very freshly maybe you know it will ask you for a certain approvals like you know typing command yes and all okay once the you know aws log is successfully installed then you have to do the next steps that is you know you have to go to this path you have to cd to this path yeah next step is you know cd to this path and update your you know uh, update your file you know called awcli.conf file okay so it, this is the file you know we need to update okay so for the, i have already updated this file you know to for my demo okay these files are very protected file and you need a leverage you know elevated permissions for this okay so for that case let me run sudo cat aws sudo cat aws cli conf okay so if you see here right so this file contains nothing but it contains a cli configurations where the reason you know the reason you should mark to the reason where your ec2 instance is sitting my ec2 instance is sitting in london region okay that is uh, eu west 2 if i can go down so this is my reason henceforth i have added reason equal to eu west 2 okay so you need to do you know vi that is nothing but you need to do um, sudo vi aws cli conf and then make the changes okay and once you make the changes just you know save this file that's all okay that's all you need to do now let's go to the next steps so in the next step you know what we have to do is we have to make one more changes if you would like to have a customizations in the aws cloudwatch log so for that case also maybe we need to update maybe we need to update the another file called you know aws log.conf file okay so for example i will just show you the cat of that and nothing but i will just show you the data present in that file by typing aws log yeah so this is a very big file especially okay so and if i can scroll up right so wait where where we so we have did um, here if i can scroll so sudo cat so once i did some so this file contains this main data okay make sure that you did not you should not be touching the other other contents but at the end of the file okay so at the end of the file maybe you can do customizations here like you know for example uh, you know for example you can if you want to change your log groups name to something like you know something your custom names okay here i have given ec2 logs so what does this means it means that you know you know this ssm agent will forward a logs to this log groups under cloudwatch log groups belongs to eu west region yeah and the log stream name also you can change if you would like to but by default it will keep instance id and the buffer duration is something like you know 5000 or 5k milliseconds yeah and file is nothing but you know it will extract the files present in var logs okay so what is the var logs actually so if i can go to the you know 
yeah so if i before i show you that so this is how you know you need to set set up your you know aws log.conf file got it yeah so okay so now we go to the next one so i i promised you to show you what does what does this var log you know directory contains okay so if i can do the cd to var and forward slash log yeah and uh, yeah so let's do this and let's do cl yeah ls and here you see you know we have messages so if i go to the messages so here you go the messages so if i can do a cat maybe i need to do a sudo okay so because it needs a elevated permission sudo cat messages you should see hell lot of messages okay yeah so basically so all these logs are now getting forwarded where it is getting forwarded to aws cloudwatch logs okay cloudwatch log group that is a custom group yeah all right after that you know you what you have to do is you have to do two more commands run in your system that is you know start the you know service called aws log sd okay so i will just run this command sudo service AWS log SD service has to be started. The service has already been started in your system. And finally, you will also need to enable, you know, uh, uh, the log SD as well. Okay. So for that case, you know, we, it is must that you know you have to run these two commands. Okay. That is sudo systemctl enable AWS log SD. Okay. So all right. So once this has been done, now it, it why does it didn't return in the sense my you know AWS log SD is already been enabled all right now we are good so, so, so this much is enough now we should see certain you know some logs are getting flowed into the cloudwatch log okay so if i can open the cloudwatch log okay i will go to the cloudwatch log so let me go to aws uh, cloudwatch i will go to the cloudwatch and in the cloudwatch okay so if i can come down again right so we have created a custom log group what is the log group that is ec2 logs okay so if I go to the EC2 logs, okay, if I go to the log groups and you have to make sure that, you know, you are opening CloudWatch of the region London are same as your EC2 instance. Here you go. The reason, you know, it has successfully created a EC2 logs, okay. And under the EC2 logs, there are certain streams. What is the stream? So this is a stream, nothing but my EC2 instance ID. If I can show you this EC2 instance ID. Yeah, so maybe I will go to this one. Let's filter the, you know, um, uh, with the instance id so where is the instance id this is the instance id and put it this one yeah all right yeah so this is the instance id nothing but you know it is ending with e98 okay so if i can go this one and show you that you know it is ending with e98 okay so this is the stream has been created under log groups and if you open this in the sense this is the place you know where all the logs of that ec2 instance of this ec2 instance are getting forwarded under this one yeah so if you see the latest log, so the latest log is happening at, at sound 30. Okay, so currently it is sound 30. All oh, right. So generally, what does this mean? So nothing but you know the logs from this EC2 instance are now getting streamed under an AWS CloudWatch log groups. That is our custom log, yeah, custom log group, and especially under a special stream called this is the stream, yeah. All right. So now, now, now we are done with our demo. So the aim of this demo is already achieved. Like you know, we have spinned up an EC2 instance. We have configured an agent. We have customized the agent in a such a way that you know, it will forward the logs to a, a particular CloudWatch log groups. And in that one, we also seen there is a stream is also been created and where the logs are getting forward belongs to that Eastern instance. Okay. All right. Now we are pretty much done. Okay. So this, you know, these logs can be used for, you know, any kind of analytics purpose, creating the alarms. Okay. So you can do anything on these logs. Okay. Once you are, you know, once you are retrieving your logs and putting into this you know cloudwatch containers nothing but log groups yeah all right so that's all for now i have successfully shown you the things to be shown in this video yeah that is you know how to configure an ec2 instance here we have taken amazon linux ec2 instance to forward the logs to you know a cloudwatch log groups yeah all right so finally thank you very much for watching my videos a kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot yeah so with that note thank you thanks a lot